That's the California inspection station coming from Nevada to California. It's the only state that does this, I think. We're slowed down over here because we're going into one lane. Been slowed down for miles now. Road work ahead, apparently. Reno, Nevada, I believe, is dead ahead. Could be wrong, but there you go. That the Nevada rest stops are pretty lacking. <laughs> no grass, just gravel. I guess it's a desert, so that's what you have to deal with out here. Yeah. I'm hanging behind this truck because he's like been all over the road. I don't want to pass him until I see him. See, look at him. going over the white line. This is the most straight he's driven for a while. I figure I'll just hang in. I'm doing 77 miles an hour. I can stay behind this guy. <laughs> Not take any chances. I'm losing my life trying to pass this truck. Yeah, they will explode if we take them into high elevation. 
So that's something I never knew until I became a truck driver. This guy over here keeps hitting dirt on the side, or he's just blowing up dirt because he's doing about, I don't know, 90, something like that. Oh, now he's going to pass this erratic truck. So let's see if he makes it past him. I've turned my engine off. <laughs> Don't feel like wasting any gas. We haven't moved one inch, not even a little bit. So obviously there is something major in the road that uh, we can't even get around at this point. Peanut has been such a good boy. I took a good boy, that Peanut, and my Peanut. <laughs> so here's a really odd thing. I was on the road here on I-80 and I saw a sign that said Salt Lake City and I could have sworn it said 44 miles and I'm looking at my GPS because I'm going to stay at a Cracker Barrel tonight I decided and I'd set my directions to go there and well according to the directions Cracker Barrel was still like 20 miles farther and I went that doesn't make any sense so I get to the next mile marker that was for you know how long it is to get to Salt Lake City and it said 59 miles and I went now wait a minute <laughs> didn't it just say 44 like not too long ago so now I'm really confused because in my mind it said 44 and then that the 59 aligned with the uh, GPS more <laughs> yeah crazy so, yeah, I'm burning video here. Just waiting, waiting. We have cars, Utah. 
people, I don't know if these are police officers that are driving by in the left lane or not. It has to be because they've got a guy with cones back here that is sending everybody into this right lane. I hear truck brakes, but that doesn't mean anything. They're letting us go past. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, that's horrible. Wow. It took forever to get here. <laughs> I'm not at a Cracker Barrel like I thought it was going to be. I am at a Comfort Inn parking lot tucked into an area where there's a tree right next to me. Rocks going straight down behind me. It's really warm. So I've got my tailgate completely up. No one can even tell it's up. And I got a mosquito net over here. This door is completely open and a mosquito net. And there's a tree right there. So no one can even see me once the lights are out. When it cools off later on, I'll probably wake up and shut everything. <laughs> so yeah, here I am. I am so tired. I am hitting the sack. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll be home. Yay. I try to get everywhere I'm going before it gets dark because my vision, it's horrible. And I don't have good glasses because I cannot afford to buy them. So I'm wearing Dollar Tree glasses. Sorry about the highway noise, nothing I can do about it. And I had to drive in the dark tonight. It was the scariest thing. It was so scary, especially on a road where there's no line on the right side for me to guide me when headlights are coming at me. I did not, I did not enjoy that at all. I'm just really glad to be here. I really am. So I'm shutting this down and I'm gonna try to sleep with the traffic noise that's going on. We'll see. We're driving through Utah on State Road 6 leading to the 70, and I just had to film this because it's really pretty. I'm in my home state.